Hi guys, today I'm on my toy hunt right now. I'm at Target and they have some really cool new Shimmer and Shine little pony figures, Pegasus things that are so pretty. Look at their little wings move back and forth and it looks like your little Shimmer and Shine figure can snap in. They also have some new plushies. Oopsies. Let me uh, go pick that one up. And they're really soft too. I've always loved like the little Shimmer and Shine teeny genies stuff. So up here they have this one. Ooh, they have this pretty white one with a turquoise colored mane. They have the blue one with the pink mane. And then they have this one, like a light pink and purple. Their wings are cool. They have like little designs within the, the clear element on the wings. So these are super cute. And it looks like they're $6.99 at Target. Look at how they flutter. <laughs> That's a neat idea. And you get the little minifigure inside as well. Um, I know they are on the Series 3 packs. They have the ring packs, but um, I think it was Walmart that had the other mini, like, 12 packs or 10 packs. I think they're 10 packs. But cool stuff. I'm always down for minifigures. They always have, like, nice detailing on them, too, and good paint jobs. And then here's a look at some of the other stuff. Okay, guys, so when Target reset their toy aisle, they have moved Five Nights and Freddy's in back by the Funko Pop section. So definitely check there because you're not going to find them down the action figure aisles anymore. Even though I saw some of the Hero World down there. But this is where they have some of the mystery minis, the action figures, Funko Pops. They have some My Moji plushies. Even the Buildables are back here now. They have some Sister Location and Nightmare Foxy over there. So that's a relief because I was having trouble finding these at Target. But they are in back by the whole big wall of Funko Pops. They even have some Sister Location Pops there too. And here's a look at those. This Target actually has a lot. And then down this aisle, they have some really cute little woodsies family packs. This comes with like the grandma and grandpa. You have a bunch of little babies, the mommy and daddy. That is so cute. Look at their little glasses. And then they have some of these new blind box ones. I know they still have the acorns like leg it ups, but then these are new. They're in a little crate of some sort. So that's cute. They also have a really cute little display there. Oh, here's the light-up ones. And then moving on down, this Target's sort of in the middle of stocking right now. They have the Cutie Mark crew for My Little Pony. Some Dorables. Pick Me Pops, they have the Jumbo Packs. I'm looking for like the Marshmallow one, I think. It's, it's on my, my list. <laughs> They have some Smooshy Mushy. That's so cool. That Target carries Smooshy Mushy. They have the ice cream ones. I know there's new ones of that coming out too. They have the next wave of those Lost Kitties with the green kitty on the front. Let's see. Some Smush Cakes. Um, Poopsie Slime down there. Again, they're um, sort of all scattered a little bit right now. It makes it a little hard to film. But that is okay. I'm here early. They have this cute little uh, cutie cars carrier. You get an exclusive car too. That one's really cute. I think this is little puppy dog. Aw. That's adorable. So it's sort of like a, a carrying case type thing. Storage for your cutie cars. Awesome. Ooh, they also have some of the new little budget shoppies dolls. Oh, she's really cute. So it looks like there's three. Oh, I like the one with the little anchor sailor outfit. That's adorable. So they have her, and then, let's see, oh, cool. They have, what's her name, Little Anchor? That's adorable. Man, we're heading into fall. These would have been perfect for summer, but still perfect and cute. And it looks like there's one more, but I don't see it. They have a couple of the little secrets. And then Target has some of the BFF little blind boxes, um, just the single packs, but I've opened some of these on my channel, and they're really cute little animal pets. They also make, I think there's three different dolls. You can get like a unicorn, um, a sloth, a little puppy there. They're really cute. And then they also have some other soft and slow squishies up there. 
These are some jumbo squishies. And oh my goodness, guys, they have, oh my goodness, they have the G1 35th anniversary of My Little Pony, Pegasus, and Unicorn Collection, and they're, they're gorgeous. Oh my goodness, look at the old artwork on the back. Just so classic and gorgeous. There's Moon Dancer, always pretty. Firefly, one of my faves. I think on YouTube you can still look up Firefly's Adventure or... It's also called Escape from Midnight Castle, I believe. There's Twilight. <gasps> so pretty. And they have their original, like, comb or brushes, brushes. And here's Sunbeam. They have the bows. I like how their tails are kind of wrapped around their legs. Just so you can see it. If you want to keep them in the box, which I will. There's Medley. Ah, oh, so they have all six from the Unicorn and Pegasus collection. Oh, they're so beautiful. Now, I don't think these come with the stickers, but you do get their their brush. And just a whole a lot of awesomeness. Look at Firefly. Ah, and their their symbols or their cutie marks are glittery too, which I think is really cool. So, these gorgeous ponies are going to be coming home with me. They also have some of the classic Care Bears. They have Share Bear and Cheer Bear. I'm at Walmart right now, and they have the new little uh, claw machine crane game thingy uh, for the Moj Moj little stretchy toys. How cool is that? Ooh, that has potential for, for a lot of things. So, pretty neat. You get six little characters as well. Ooh, there's some new Disney delectables, which I haven't seen new stuff for a while. I love how they look like an ice cream container. That's adorable. The little pooperoos. Oh, that guy got out of his toilet. <laughs> Those are cool. Um, Poopsie Slime. Wow, I think this is my first time seeing it at Walmart, so that's pretty cool. So Walmart has has that stocked. The uh, Cake Pop Cuties. So they have some of the old series, but this, this one's new, that front one. That's cool. They also have more of the Bentos, the Smushy Mushy Babies, some ice creams. Oh, they have a bunch of the Bentos. They have the little hippo there, which that's adorable. They're putting Roblox in this section now, which, okay, that works. <laughs> Here's some Littlest Pet Shop. They still have the little Walmart exclusive Galaxy blind bag figures. And then some of these sets, too. Which, they look pretty cool. I like the whole Galaxy theme. Oh, wow, I think these look new to me, the Series 2 little ones. I don't remember that goat. <laughs> but maybe I just haven't seen the goat. They have a turtle. No, the narwhal. No, that must be new. So they have, doesn't look like they have all of them, but they have the little turtle that comes with a frog friend. Those are really cute. The goat's adorable too. Cool stuff. I'm glad LPS has a bunch of stuff out right now. They have the push me ups, the ice series one. <laughs> they also have the larger packs. They have the slime for num noms, as well as some of the dippers. They have the biggie pets for LOL surprise. That's cool too. I don't see these often at um, Walmart. Um, oh, this was the little gel dress outfit ones. Would you call it a gel or a slime? I'm not sure, but they're empty. <laughs> but that's cool that they're making like new outfits for your LOL surprise dolls. And then they also have some of the happy places. Rainbow Beach, Party Pop Teenies, the cool lockets for Little Secrets. Oh, they have the little pet store. That's adorable. I love those Little Secrets. They did such a good job with those. <laughs> Both the little lockets and the dolls. Here's some trolls. As well as those Hello Kitty cards which I really like for the minifigures. <laughs> and then move it on down to My Little Pony. I really like the new setup Walmart has for their toy aisle. They fit a lot in a small amount of space. They also have the Cutie Mark crew here. Awesome. Some Disney Afternoon Mystery Minis. And down the action figure aisle, they have the adorable Feisty Pets. So cute. And then this. <laughs> they never fail to make me laugh, and I always got to press them when I see them. 
So cute. Um, they have a couple McFarlane buildables. They moved these to the action figure section. Which, um, the style is like really slow to reset with some of the new toys. Or maybe there's just not that many new toys in this section yet. I know there's going to be some new cool Five Nights at Freddy's collectible figures. And then here's a look at some of the Transformers. And then down here, Walmart has more of the mystery minis. So let's see. They have the regular collection box. And then it looks like they only have a few of the Walmart exclusive box. And I know a lot of you guys said feel for a heavy one for lol bit, but all these feel really light. So <laughs> they only have these six right here. And then these are just the, the regular ones. But still, I'm glad they're stocking them. Maybe one day I'll, I'll get lucky there. They have the, the My Neighbor Dude which is interesting, as well as some classic games. In Walmart's sort of new blind bag section, they have some really cool Star Wars science where you can excavate skulls of different Star Wars aliens. That's kind of neat. They have, like, the Rodian, which was, uh, what, Greedo. They have the Hut. Huh. The Grimorian Guard. <laughs> Just a neat sort of weird idea. I think the excavations, like with the Treasure X and stuff, is, is a thing right now. So if you like Star Wars monsters, then there you go. They also have some Spongebob mashems. I don't see these often, but they're, they're cool. And then they have the new Fingerlings little dragons. Oh, they look really cute. They actually have like a glittery like wings and and stuff. So they have these two guys. I like the light green one. And then down here they have a hot pink and purple. They're almost fluorescent. They're so bright. Cool. I'm glad they've expanded the whole fingerlings stuff. Various animals, the raptors, everything else. They have some briar. Let's see. Down here they have a couple of the blind bags. They're on series two of the mini winnies. They also have the little doggies very cute here's more of the untamed and I'm realizing now they make the t-rex so the other ones were the velociraptors um, and then now they have the t-rex ones that is so cool they have a bigger head <laughs> so they look really neat I think there's a couple different color combinations they also have those Pomsies kitties there I like that rainbow ish one um, Hatchimals they have the mystery one as well as the new series with the egg crate. Is that series four? I think. I don't know. I don't remember the purple carton, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's series four. There we go. <laughs> I don't see any of the series four packs except for the little light up little house thingies. Um, they look really cool. I know there's going to be some Hatchimals that carry, like, the accessories and stuff. So they have those two packs. Here's a look at their sort of slime section. They have these new little jam thingies. Jammies. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I really like the carton. And just a bunch, my goodness. So they have these floam things, which, um, the So Squishy floam, they're, they're pretty good. They have these lava lamp, jelly, metallic ones. I'm, I'm loving slime recently. Um, although so far the Num Noms, uh, Silly Shakes are the best slime, in my opinion, for Star Bot. Poopsie's not far behind either. They have big buckets. And then in the Disney Junior section, they have these little plushy capsules, which are kind of funny looking. They have really big heads and tiny little bodies. But cute packaging. And then they also have some little figures. Over here they have these uh, Mickey Mouse squishies. Okay. They're pretty squishy. It's sort of the old 90 years of Mickey Mouse. Yikes. That's pretty cool. There's four different ones. They're by the marshmallows or marshmallows. I have yet to find the pony marshmallows. <laughs> 
Okay, so I am back home from my toy hunt, and the rest of the video is the haul portion, in case you guys want to stick around and see what I bought, and I think it'll come as no surprise as what I bought this time. My goodness, they had the Unicorn and Pegasus collection for the 35th anniversary of My Little Pony. Here is my favorite, Firefly. She is absolutely gorgeous. It has the cool artwork on the back. Oh my goodness, the cool rainbow. Um, these ones, let's see, they come with the brush, the bow, but I don't think they come with the sticker like the rainbow ponies did. But she's beautiful. And then I also picked up the Unicorn Moon Dancer. I've always loved the color red of her hair. It's sort of like this burgundy. It's so pretty. So I got those two. And then I also got Twilight. Um, I heard a lot of the new Twilight Sparkle is based off of the original Twilight as well, so that's pretty cool. She's beautiful. My goodness, I love her pink. She has like a purple streak in her mane, the white hair. And then I got Glory, <laughs> also so pretty. And then... I, I pretty much got all six. I just, I couldn't pass these up. I got Sunbeam. She's always a very elegant looking unicorn. I like her like mint green sort of teal color. So cool. And then the last one to round off the two Pegasus in the series is Medley with her cute little music notes. She's sort of a green on green, but she's really pretty as well. So that is the full collection of the Unicorn and Pegasus. My phone cut out for some weird reason, but I was saying that this is the full collection for the Unicorn and Pegasus first release. And I hope Hasbro makes more. I mean, it's the 35th anniversary. Maybe they'll do it for the 36th and 37th. Just keep them coming. Keep them coming and I'll probably keep on buying them. And then the very last things I bought at Target are Halloween related, but um, cause it's that time and I love me some Halloween. They had some pumpkin garland in the dollar spot. This is $3 and you get a whole lot of cuteness. So I picked up two of these. I just thought they're adorable and yep, can't wait for Halloween. So there you have it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to my channel if you're interested in seeing more of my daily videos. I want to thank you guys so much for coming toy hunting with me. I appreciate it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.